Welcome back to our channel, fellow travelers. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the heart of Europe to uncover the beauty and charm of Belgium, a small but mighty country that packs a punch with its rich history, stunning geography, diverse climate, robust economy, intricate politics, and vibrant culture. So, buckle up and get ready to explore the land of waffles, beer, and chocolate, let's go. Belgium's history dates back to the Roman Empire, and over the centuries, it has seen numerous changes in power, influence, and political alliances. Let's dive in and discover how this fascinating nation came to be. The Roman Empire left a lasting impact on the region, as seen through the remnants of villas, roads, and aqueducts. In the Middle Ages, Belgium was part of the Frankish Empire and later became a collection of feudal states, with some of the most powerful and prosperous regions in Europe, such as Flanders and Brabant. Belgium's strategic position between France and Germany made it a battleground for centuries, with the most significant wars including the Hundred Years' War, the Wars of Religion, and the Spanish and Austrian successions. The 19th century saw Belgium achieve independence after the Belgian Revolution in 1830, resulting in the establishment of a constitutional monarchy. The small yet industrious nation was a major player in the Industrial Revolution, excelling in areas like textiles, steel, and glass manufacturing. Sadly, Belgium was ravaged during both world wars, with the Battle of the Isar and the Battle of the Bulge leaving a lasting impact on the country. In recent history, Belgium has taken on a prominent role in European politics, as it hosts the European Union's headquarters, as well as NATO. Its position in the heart of Europe has transformed Belgium into a melting pot of languages, cultures, and traditions. Belgium is a small country, spanning just 30,528 square kilometers. Despite its size, it boasts an impressive and diverse landscape. The country can be divided into three main geographic regions, the coastal plains, the central plateau, and the Ardennes uplands. The coastal plains in the northwest are characterized by sandy beaches, dunes, and polders. This area is home to the bustling port of Antwerp, which plays a significant role in the global diamond trade and is one of the largest ports in the world. The central plateau, also known as the Flanders Lowland, is a fertile plain known for its rich agricultural lands and historic cities like Brussels, Ghent, and Bruges. This region has a high population density, with the majority of the country's population living here. Finally, the Ardennes uplands in the southeast boast thick forests, rolling hills, and deep valleys, creating a haven for nature lovers and adventure enthusiasts. This region is also home to the highest point in Belgium, the Signal de Bot range, standing at 694 meters above sea level. Belgium's climate is categorized as maritime temperate, influenced by the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. This results in mild winters, cool summers, and relatively consistent precipitation throughout the year, ensuring lush green landscapes and picturesque scenery. Let's dive deeper into the Belgian climate to understand its unique characteristics and how they contribute to this country's charm. Summers in Belgium are generally pleasant, with temperatures averaging around 22 degrees Celsius, 72 degrees Fahrenheit, in the warmer months of June, July, and August. However, heat waves have been known to occur, with temperatures occasionally reaching up to 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, or more. Belgian summers often experience moderate rainfall, with occasional thunderstorms. These conditions are perfect for enjoying the numerous outdoor festivals and events, as well as exploring the beautiful countryside and vibrant cities. Winters in Belgium are mild, with temperatures hovering around 2 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees Fahrenheit, in December, January, and February. Snowfall is not uncommon, particularly in the higher regions of the Ardennes, but heavy snow is quite rare. The country may experience occasional cold snaps, where temperatures can drop below freezing, especially during the night. Winter in Belgium is a magical time, as the historic cities are adorned with festive decorations, and the Christmas markets come to life, offering warm food, hot beverages, and handcrafted gifts. Spring and autumn in Belgium are transitional seasons, characterized by mild and often unpredictable weather. Temperatures during these seasons range from 8 degrees Celsius to 17 degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit to 63 degrees Fahrenheit, and rainfall is quite common. Spring is an especially delightful time to visit Belgium, as the countryside comes alive with vibrant colors, and the famous Belgian bluebells create a mesmerizing carpet of blue in the ancient Halibos forest. Belgium may be small in size, but its economy is both robust and diverse, with a well-developed and highly industrialized market system. The country's central location in Europe, coupled with its excellent transportation infrastructure, skilled workforce, and strong trade connections, contribute to its economic success. Let's dive into the various aspects of Belgium's economy and discover what makes it a thriving and influential player on the global stage. Belgium has a long history of industrialization, dating back to the Industrial Revolution when it was a leader in areas such as textiles, steel, and glass manufacturing. Today, the country boasts a diversified industrial base, with key sectors including chemicals, pharmaceuticals, automotive, and food processing. Belgium is also an important player in the global diamond trade, with the bustling port city of Antwerp being the world's leading diamond center. The services sector is the largest and fastest growing component of the Belgian economy, employing around 75% of the workforce. 
This sector includes areas such as finance, telecommunications, tourism, and retail. Belgium's central location and the presence of key European institutions, such as the European Union and NATO, have contributed to the growth of its financial services industry, with Brussels emerging as an important financial hub. As a small, open economy, Belgium relies heavily on international trade. The country's strategic position in the heart of Europe, combined with its well-developed transportation infrastructure, has made it an essential transit point for goods moving between Europe's major economies. Belgium's major trading partners include Germany, the Netherlands, France, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The country exports a wide range of goods, including machinery, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and food products. Despite its small size and high population density, agriculture remains an important part of the Belgian economy. The fertile plains of the Central Plateau are particularly well suited for farming, with key agricultural products including sugar beets, potatoes, cereals, and dairy products. Belgium's agricultural sector is also known for its high-quality beer and chocolate, which are enjoyed by connoisseurs around the world. Belgium is heavily reliant on imported energy, with nuclear power accounting for a significant portion of its electricity generation. The country has been investing in renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar power, in an effort to diversify its energy mix and reduce its carbon emissions. Belgium has also implemented a range of environmental policies and initiatives aimed at promoting sustainable development and reducing its environmental impact. Belgium's political landscape is complex and fascinating, shaped by its unique history, linguistic diversity, and strong tradition of consensus-based decision-making. The country is a federal parliamentary constitutional monarchy, with King Philippe serving as the current head of state. Let's delve into the intricacies of Belgian politics and explore how this small nation navigates the challenges of governance. Belgium is divided into three regions, Flanders, Wallonia, and Brussels, each with its own regional government. In addition, there are three linguistic communities, Dutch-speaking, French-speaking, and German-speaking, which also have their own governments responsible for matters relating to language and culture. This federal structure was implemented to address the regional and linguistic differences within the country and to promote cooperation and consensus building among the various groups. Belgium's political scene is characterized by a multi-party system, with numerous parties representing a wide range of ideologies and interests. These parties are typically divided along linguistic lines, with separate Dutch-speaking and French-speaking parties for each political ideology. This diverse array of parties often results in coalition governments, as no single party is able to secure a majority in the federal parliament. The Belgian federal government is headed by the Prime Minister, who is appointed by the King and approved by the federal parliament. The federal parliament consists of two chambers, the Chamber of Representatives and the Senate. Members of the Chamber of Representatives are directly elected, while the Senate is composed of representatives from the regional and community parliaments, as well as co-opted members. This bicameral system ensures that the interests of both the regions and the linguistic communities are represented in the legislative process. Belgium has been a strong proponent of European integration and is one of the founding members of the European Union. The country's capital, Brussels, serves as the headquarters for several key European institutions, including the European Commission, the European Council, and the European Parliament. Belgium's commitment to European integration reflects its belief in the importance of international cooperation and its desire to maintain peace and stability on the continent. Belgium's rich and vibrant culture is the product of centuries of history, linguistic diversity, and the blending of traditions from its neighboring countries. From its world-renowned food and beverages to its stunning architecture and thriving arts scene, Belgian culture offers something for everyone. Let's embark on a journey through the cultural highlights of this fascinating nation. Belgium is a multilingual country, with Dutch, French, and German recognized as the official languages. Dutch is spoken by approximately 60% of the population, primarily in the Flanders region, while French is spoken by about 40%, mainly in Wallonia and Brussels. German is spoken by a small minority in the east of the country. This linguistic diversity is a key aspect of Belgian culture and has shaped the country's political and social landscape. Belgian cuisine is famous for its mouth-watering dishes and high-quality ingredients. The country is particularly renowned for its waffles, chocolate, and beer. Belgium boasts more than 1,000 different types of beer, ranging from traditional Trappist ales to innovative craft brews. The country is also home to some of the world's finest chocolatiers, who create exquisite pralines and other chocolate delicacies that are enjoyed by connoisseurs around the globe. Belgium's architectural heritage is diverse and impressive, with influences from Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and Art Nouveau styles. The historic cities of Bruges, Ghent, and Antwerp are home to stunning cathedrals, picturesque canals, and well-preserved medieval buildings, while Brussels boasts a mix of historic and modern architecture, including the iconic Atomium and the beautiful Grand Place. Belgium is also the birthplace of many renowned artists, such as the Flemish masters Peter Paul Rubens, Jan van Eyck, and Peter Bruegel the Elder. The country has a thriving contemporary art scene, with numerous galleries, museums, and cultural events showcasing the work of local and international artists. Belgium has a rich musical heritage, spanning genres from classical to electronic music. 
The country has produced many internationally renowned composers, such as Adolf Sax, the inventor of the saxophone, and César Franck. Today, Belgium is known for its vibrant electronic dance music scene, with world-famous festivals like Tomorrowland attracting visitors from around the globe. The country also hosts a wide range of cultural events and festivals, such as the Brussels International Film Festival, the Gentse Feesten, and the Carnival of Binche, which showcase Belgian creativity and diversity. Belgian culture is steeped in folklore and traditions, many of which date back centuries. Some of the most famous Belgian traditions include the UNESCO-listed procession of the Holy Blood in Bruges, the Cat Parade in Ypres, and the Omegang in Brussels. These events often feature colorful costumes, lively music, and theatrical performances, reflecting the country's rich history and the unique customs of each region. And there you have it, fellow travelers. Belgium is truly a hidden gem in the heart of Europe, offering a wealth of experiences for everyone. With its rich history, diverse geography, moderate climate, robust economy, complex politics, and vibrant culture, this small yet influential nation is a must-visit destination. So pack your bags, brush up on your language skills, and get ready to immerse yourself in the enchanting world of Belgium. Until next time, happy travels. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting videos.